Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series. My name is Anil and this is the 10th video of our project. So in this video, we will see that how we can update our REST data entry. So let's say I just want to edit some KFC or address or something that how can I add it? So I will be just make a icon here on this icon click. We will just go on this update page and there should be a form like this in which the data will be pre-filled and we just want to uh, add some changes here then after that we can just submit but uh, these are the part of two two videos so in this specific video what actually i'm going to do i will just make a icon here then we have to just uh, pass the id in the parameter from here and then we will we will just make a form here like this all right so now let's start these are the points of the video we have to add the edit icon then we will send the parameterized route and we will add a form on a on a edit uh, component you can say that all right okay so now let's start so first of all i am just going to app and then let's go on a list and this page so after that here i am just going to make uh, one more icon so let's uh, just define like this here all right so let's try to format it this is not being affected i just want to make them in a single line so that you can just watch it completely all right so uh, what actually i'm going to do here i'm not going to just i don't need this uh, click function because i have to redirect the page for now so just i am going to define a, a tag and in this just write here uh, router link like this and in this router link we will provide the router link so like just it will be go on the update and uh, the id of restaurant so let's say it will come from the item dot id perfect and inside it i can just simply paste uh, the icon all right and this icon will be uh, added icon so just trash replace the trash with the edit and the color can be blue like this so now let's see what we are getting here on a list oh, this is the red color i can just refresh it and the hair is blue so if i'm just going to click on it then it will just give me the error that route is not match why route is not match because the update will just get the update here so i just i'm just going to pass here some ids like one two and something else so you can just check it inside the list and here um, like this all right so but it cannot accept the one because we have to use the parameterized route for them for them let's go inside the app dot uh, 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 routing dot module and here in the update just use the column and use your id like this all right and obviously this will be a slash also right so now let's try so if i'm just going to go i want to go on the sixth item then you can see that we got a six id here and what we are going to do with this id why we are passing the id because on the behalf of id we will fetch data of this item and we will pre-fill the data in this kind of field so that when someone just want to edit the data then he must have to know what is the current data in our uh, for this restaurant and he can just simply make the changes all right so now let's make the uh, simple form like this with how we can just make a form so that most of the part i will just copy from the add restaurant because it will just save the time and we already learned that how we can just make this form in the uh, add restaurant video also all right so let's uh, just close this one and this one now let's to open files with the uh, rest so first of all let's open the ts file uh, for the add restaurant and open the ts file for the update restaurant let's copy the data from here like just copy the form the form is same because we need the two field only and now let's copy the uh, form group also like this and we can just update the name of this icon like edit uh, update the name of the form group which is the edit all right so now after doing this 
we can just simply close it and let's open the HTML file from a registrant as well as in the update restaurant all right so we can just copy this complete form here to here and let's just write here edit uh, there is nothing for new and I don't need this alert for now so that's why I'm just going to comment it I don't need submit event because I have to define this function again and the form name will be gonna edit resto because we define this name uh, here all right so after that we can just uh, replace the submit with the update like this and I think everything will be fine here let's go on a list let's try to catch the ID fourth here you can see that ID 4 is present and we go the three field with the update button all right but in the upcoming video we will just fetch the data with behalf of these IDs for this field and we'll update the one more we will hit the one more API for update after that when you just see this page your data will be updated here all right uh, so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are looking for this code the code is given in the uh, uh, github and link is provided in the description box so bye bye take care